There is a huge difference in understanding the technique of every area of this business. I, I cannot stress it enough how important it is. Every script is broken down in a particular way. On a general note, television is one mood all the way through. Hip Cool, the all new Toyota Celica. Come get it while it's hot. It's one mood. You start one place, you end one place. On a different note, animation. It's very real nowadays versus it used to be very cartoony. Depends what the show is. There's a lot of shows on Saturday morning which are very cartoony. There are, you have to understand in cartoons and video games how to break down not only finding the character, which is the vocal quality of the character, based on specifications and moods, which is also by coaching and understanding. You can come up with a cute voice like this, but when this voice gets pissed off and wants to talk like that, or if he wants to manipulate somebody and get a little free. Do you understand that my mood changes, but it's based on the adjective or the specification that's written on the script? What you've got to understand is on a television commercial, even though you're seeing the script, it's obviously got the beats in it. You have to play the beats. We're seeing the mom walk in with the groceries, and then we're seeing the voiceover. Every day, millions of moms, and you have to match that to what's going on on the scratch, uh, in animation, when I do a lot of animated TV shows, uh, guess what? Most of the time, the other actors aren't even there. We're wildlining everything, meaning I not only have to have my acting down, but understand the transitions and the beats of having one particular mood and having my reaction without the director giving me that. I'm just gonna be Terry, friendly, off the cuff, telling this story. Women talk about the shows, but guys, they talk about their TVs. Improv skills. I like to use the term improvising within the words, which is basically what I just said, which is not adding a bunch of new words because then you're changing the writer's intent. The things that make you unique as a human being added in the right way to any voiceover is what will land you the job. I think the most challenging and frustrating thing for an actor is the ego. The minute you say to me, I just want to make a lot of money. Well, God bless you. I hope we all make a lot of money. But you better have the intent that you want to make the money because you enjoy the process of getting in there and doing a great read. Let them be beautiful. Let them be messy. You keep going back and do the same yeah. thing. Do you see it? Yeah. So I you're stuck it. in technical. Yeah. Your vocal quality will come out of the mood that you project. If you always come across as kind of seductive and cool, that's great. But how do you recreate that mood when you get a parking ticket or you had a fight with your boyfriend or girlfriend and yet you're supposed to be cool and seductive? The mood lends itself to the energy, to the pacing, to the rhythm. You see, I haven't once mentioned breathing because in life we breathe naturally according to a mood. We don't think before we speak and go, uh, how many breaths am I going to get in here before I speak? If you're thinking about the technical aspects, where to stop and start, your breathing, you're doing everything wrong. The minute you're thinking about mood, who I'm talking to, where I'm at, you're doing everything right.